The buy-in is $1,000, let's get it. We are starting off with $25 on the ante and odds, $10 on the trips, and $10 on the pocket bonus. And the first hand, we have a king of spades, and you know what? We are going to roll the dice. I'm going to 4x it without even seeing what's behind that. Give us something good. Okay, so we missed. We need the dealer to miss as well. And the dealer has an eight and a king, and I'm actually telling the dealer, dealer, if you can please move all the cards forward, so that we can see what your hand is clearly. And in the event that we hit a monster hand, we could turn that into an awesome short video. So moving forward, that's exactly what the dealer is going to do. They're going to push all the cards forward so we can see the hand clearly. In this casino, since we're actually playing against another player, it's not customary to put the cards behind the board. I do want to give a shout out to Hylia Park Casino for accommodating us with our request. Moving forward, we have a five of spades and an ace of hearts, and we have another four X. We got back to back four X's. Nice, we did hit the top pair on the board, and the dealer has a nine with a four. You can't make this up. I can't win with the 49ers, and the dealer just sucked out on us big time because we did hit the top pair. Not good. Three of hearts, eight of clubs. We're going to check it. Oh, nice. We just hit two pairs on the flop. We are looking good. All right, so we got two pairs, and the dealer has a nine of five, and oh my goodness, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the second suck out in a row. Dealer, what are you doing? Is this going to be one of these type of sessions? I know you want to pay me, dealer, but I can't get away with it. I got the best subscribers in the world, and they're saying, dealer, you got to straight take his money. Shout out to my subscribers for keeping the game honest. Six of diamonds, two of spades, not a great combination of cards. And five, six, okay, we need an eight for a straight dealer, make it up to me. And yes, 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 thank you dealer. We forgive you for having a straight against us and the dealer has a nine, three, so they do have the top pair. We sucked out on them this time. I guess it's, it's an eye for an eye. We're going to get one to one on the odds and we're going to get four to one on the trips. Plus the high hand bonus is $1,000 every half hour and we're trying to see if we can get one of those hands. Nine of spades, seven of diamonds, we're going to check. All right, four, four, three, we need to hit a nine or a seven to stay in this hand. And okay, so there are trips on the board but we're not gonna play the nine high. It's not a high enough card to play the board. So we're going to get paid just on the trips. Hopefully the dealer has something crazy and they have a 10-5. So they would have beat us with the 10 kicker. But again, we're going to get paid on the trips and we get 3-1 to one on the trips. So we get $30 there. King of clubs with a four of hearts. We're going to check this. Nice. So we did hit a top pair on the board. We don't have a great kicker. No more spades. And okay, so the dealer threw four spades out there. We need to avoid a spade. And right on cue, the dealer has a queen of spades to tell you, you know what? I'm going to be sucking out on you all day. You got top pair, but I don't care about top pair because I got a flush. Jack of diamonds, six of clubs, definitely a checking hand. And okay, so we missed on the flop. We need a check. We need to hit a jack or a six, four, five, six. And I'm going to actually try to play the jack high. And the dealer beat us with any of the two cards. They got a queen high and they also have trip fours. So not a great play, but I'm getting desperate. I am going to try two-handed because nothing seems to be working. And we wake up with 10-4. This hand has a lot of meaning to me because it is my birthday hand. And the dealer does not give us any help on the flop and nothing. We have absolutely nothing. I'm going to let it go. Do you guys have any strange hands that have some significant meaning to you? If you do, write it down in the comments. I would like to know what hands those are. On the first position, we're playing trips and pocket pairs. And with the queen three, we were four from the straight and four from the flush, so no good. Going back to one-handed, I have a deuce of diamonds with an ace of diamonds. This is a 4x hand. I did bring down the best so I could weather the storm. I have $10 on the ante, so I have $40 on the raise. Okay, and we have two pairs, an ace and a deuce. And finally, the dealer is cooperating with a 310. Now they don't qualify, so they do have to push the ante back. We are going to get paid on the raise only on the 4X, but we finally broke the seal up until this point. We've barely won any hands. Jack of hearts, four diamonds, we're going to check. 
We miss on the flop. We need some help. We need a jack of four. And okay, the jack is actually looking pretty decent right now. We are going to play it. There's two pairs. And believe it or not, we sucked out on the dealer because they did spike an eight on the flop and the running nine spared us. King of spades, ace of spades. Now, I would like to say that I'm happy to see this hand, but I can't seem to win with big slick. Let's change that. Nice, we hit the top pair, top kicker. And just like that, big slick gets sucked out on as well. Dealer gets two pairs with a nine and a seven. Our hand was looking so great, but we are going to have to settle for the 20 to one on the pocket bonus. We do have $10 on there, so we're going to get $200. At least we got some compensation, but big slick is always slicking. Three of hearts, nine of hearts, we're going to check. The nines have been working out for the dealer. We missed on the flop. We need some running hearts, a nine or a three. Three, four, five, six. Nope, we got four to the straight. I always like to double check because I don't want to make a mistake. And the dealer has a pair of fours, which is enough to destroy us. Six of spades, king of hearts. I'm not even going to four X this, guys. I'm not running well. We're going to check it. I do like to deviate based on how the day is going. And sure enough, they give us a king to tell me I'm making mistakes. And the dealer has a 10-5 to tell me, no, you did not make a mistake. Your intuition was actually correct. And that's why I trust my gut. Ooh, ace of hearts. If there's one way to get back in this game, it is with four X's. Let's go, dealer. Do something amazing. And hopefully we have an eight underneath. Uh, Ace, king, queen. Let's see what you got, dealer. Let's try to get bonuses all around. We are free rolling. Thank you. Give us a pocket bonus as well. And no. Little baby card. We can't be upset because at least we got the 4X in the back. And that's going to help us get our chips back. Let's go. Ooh, ace of diamonds. And this is back to back. This time I gave a little tap to the pocket bonus. So that the dealer knows that we want a bonus on top of this hand. Nice. We already spiked an ace on the flop. We're looking great. And okay, top pair. Let's see what the dealer has. And the dealer has 7, 8, 9, 10, jack. Oh my goodness, another suck out. Runner, runner. We have ace 10. Dealer has 10, 9. And they pulled us straight on us. We got absolutely no compensation. What a suck out, but I'm the sucker because I'm still sitting. Five of diamonds, four of clubs. We're going to check. Not a great flop with a five high. We need a five or a four. And right now we're playing the board, so we have to let this hand go for free. And the dealer has pocket eight, so they have two pairs. Jack of diamonds, three of diamonds. Not great cards, but at least they're suited. All right, we missed on the flop. In this session, we haven't been hitting on the flop. All right, jack high. Now, normally this is a hand that I play. I should probably fold it, but sometimes when you're playing dumb, you do dumb things. And sure enough, the dealer has pocket nines to reassure that this was a dumb play to try to protect the jack. But since I had such little money, I said, let's go for it. And we wake up to a 69 to try to get back in position. But if we don't get in position, this session is just going to be over. Four, five, six, seven. Again, we're four from the straight. This is no good. We're just going to let this session go. And the dealer has an ace king to prove that they are just dominating us all together. We are going to stop the session there. And in this session, we're cashing out $167, a total loss of $833. Let's go over the session stats. In this session, I played 18 hands. I won four, lost 13, and pushed once. I got two trips and one pocket pair bonus. I 4X six times and won three out of six 4Xs. In this short session, I got sucked out of top pair or better six times. Those are six hands that normally would go in our direction. The dealer did suck out on us all day, but you know what? We're going to win anyways because you guys are gonna smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next session. Thank you.